We have two different engine mounts for our conversions. Both these mounts are interchangeable with the IL-470 and our IL-550, so it makes no difference which mount goes with which engine. The early design engine mount we did back in the 1980s has this cross tube which gives us clearance on the, on the throttle body. It's an older design, it's a good design, we've got hundreds of them out there with no issues, but it makes installing and removing the rear engine mount bolt bolts difficult because you've got a, a tube here, standoff, and getting those rear engine mount bolts in is, is a little bit of a tough deal. When we certified the IL-550, we went to an alternate engine mount that relocates the cross tube here to beef it up, gives you a little more room on the throttle body for adjustments, which is nice, but it also opens up the rear engine mount uh, bolts so they're much easier to get in and get out. AWI has done a lot of work for us. They've got our new prints, uh, so they can do engine mounts if you need one. If you have a local shop that you want to do an engine mount with, it's no problem. Have them give us a call. We can send a PDF on the modification. And, uh, and other than that, you need a totally stock engine mount if you've got a canard because the geometry of the side frames and the clips depend on that stock engine mount. So that's that. And one other thing, too. We also have a few Seaplanes West engine mounts out there. Uh, stock mount, unmodified, works fine. And, uh, but with the Seaplanes West engine mount, it requires a special canard spar that's compatible with that. So you're not going to interchange engine mounts with Seaplanes West engine mounts or Acorn now without rebuilding the entire canard structure up front. So my suggestion is stay with the stock mount, you'll be fine.